thing about the quantum world. You can take a step back and just think a little bit. Well, not too long, but a little bit, right? So you have. <laughs> pattern that can help not just for the sake of you know look how how good my coordination is but to to sustain that idea like okay i'm following that ostinato right and that could be anything by the way like a lot of guys you know they practice the samba they practice the bayo and then like they tap out like, okay i'm good with my food ostinatos right well but why not turning every single one of those bars in the syncopation book into a food ostinato every single one of them Especially the most, syn the more syncopated ones. And you can even again still keep that. But you can boom, 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 boom. Like there you go. Now solo around that. And then there's also the storytelling aspect of this, but that's because that's more abstract. And 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 also you know it's just like anything else. You can't really tell stories if you haven't yet mastered all the little uh, techniques to tell a story first like the, the more mechanical stuff if you know what i mean then we can really get go artistic about it right because otherwise you know and, and this is something that i'm sure you you've heard and i sure have heard like a million times which is you know i don't care much about technique man it's all about expression then they can't express themselves they don't even understand the paradox of saying i don't care about technique i just want to express myself then you need technique fella because you, you're basically saying, I, I, don't, uh, I don't need to learn a language, I just want to say whatever I want. What? And it's something, I said this recently to, to someone. And it took them, again, because uh, the technique for thinking is also a, th a thing. And we were having this debate and I'm like, hmm, interesting, so, okay. Uh, and then I, I, on purpose, took a massive left turn in our conversation and I asked him like tell me something if, if a tree falls in the middle of the woods but there's no one there to to listen does it make a noise and he looks at me like what he kind of admits I don't get why you're asking me that <laughs> because that will be you on stage no one's gonna be there to listen if you're just talking gibberish so all your expression <laughs> will be silence no, ultimately, that's the thing. That's the thing about the freedom of expression, which can be then re inverted to to the idea of expressing yourself freely. Because sometimes we say freedom of, of expression a little bit lightly, which is, I'm my freedom of expression. Can you express yourself freely, though? Freedom of expression is beautiful if you can't do it. <laughs> Most people can't, right? And they have that, that idea that freedom of expression means that you have the the duty to listen no it only means that you like that i have the right like in this interaction here like if i'm defending my freedom of expression that doesn't mean that i can demand you to listen it only means that i have the right to speak but you can always leave and then my speech is silence but then the, there's these people who just they're nothing they're so radical that they are actually nothing and they do this to, to themselves and they shoot themselves in the foot because they just define themselves as so outside the mainstream that they, they keep on walking and they just leave everyone behind and then what they say is irrelevant 
Well, because there's no one there to listen. If you keep if you keep on on isolate on on specifying, you're gonna come down to the level of the individual. Okay, and then what? And then you you're on a, on a planet of one. That's not very. That's why there are languages, because language unites us. That's why we're having this conversation, <laughs> right? Because going back to what you said, you know, if I were just babbling, this conversation would be interesting, even if my intent was the same. And that's the scary thing. Even if my thoughts were exactly the same as what I'm saying, me not saying them the way I am would be a problem. That's the thing about language. That's the thing about why, you know, we got to learn the techniques to then talk about storytelling. And I had to learn how to think before I could talk about what I think. But these are really thoughts. If you want to enter the, the actual, at least my understanding of soloing, these are the thoughts that must be had. Not like, am I going to use a parody or, or a pot of fluff? That's completely irrelevant. Because those things will come naturally. Yeah, you don't want that to be the engine, right? That's there, supporting what you're saying. It's like, again, you know, just to put a bow on that, like, I'm not ignoring the English language regardless of what I'm trying to say. I'll use maybe a radical thought here. But can you imagine how weird it would be for me to, like, you say something that I disagree with, and my statement of dis disagreement is literally to use a different language. I disagree with everything you just said, so I'm just gonna, like, ignore all the rules of communication. That would just be, like, I would lose. Immediately. And that's the thing about music that I hear a lot. It doesn't even matter how good you, one is at doing whatever. If you're changing the language. And it's cool, like, peaks and valleys, that's the other thing. Let it peak. Let it go up, like, to, to that point of just almost uh you know explosion and then you you control that you, you you can go for a bar of of silence to really to create that contradiction this kind of thing is very meaningful anywhere because that's the no that's this in itself is the definition of language you can have an audience of a hundred non-musicians in front of you they'll be like i heard that before this guy is a clever one Everyone can follow simple ideas. 